Hello, hello, wonderful humans of Earth. I came across this and I kind of just had to see it. How the panelists looked in the 80s for the Big Fat Quiz of the 80s. Something, I mean, it's probably going to be a while by the time I get around to that. I've seen a couple of the Big Fat Quizzes, like, in their entirety. Um, there's so many. So I figured this won't spoil anything. But if I ever do get around to it, I'll forget. So it's fine. And also, I'm extremely curious. Also, I, it's, it's, is this the most... Jack D has ever smiled because <laughs> um, I, I see him cracking a smile there. It's very uncharacteristic. All right, let's do this. I am very, very curious. Also, I have no idea who the panel is other than him and I saw Jimmy Carr in the thumbnail. So I don't know, but I like these kind of things. So let's start. Before we get started, let's have a look at you in the 80s. Let's kick off with, uh, with Phil. Let's have a look at you back in the 80s. <laughs> What was going on there? Uh, that was uh, that was me uh, outside the Hammersmith Odeon. Well, of uh, course it was you. <laughs> I was supporting the Star Council, and Weller, bless him, got my name put up outside. Porky, Porky the poet. Was yeah. that you? Mm. That was me. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Mm. Back then. It hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jack, let's have a look at you in the eighties. <laughs> what, what were you doing in the eighties? I was. What did you do for a living back Breathing, then? eating. I was. I was. I was looking. I was trying to buy a jacket like the one Phil's wearing. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, to wait for a long time. Don't well, you... stare at me. I'm no, no, answering your be, questions. Imagine you'd be an incredible waiter. You'd be. I mean, because they work. As a really good waiter. Yeah, sure. Because you're very friendly. Yeah. yeah. That sense of bonhomie yeah. and welcoming. Yeah. 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 We. Yeah. It's off. You can't have that today. People like that. You know, you know, you know, direct approach. Can I have the chicken? No, you can't. I've already said it's off. <laughs> you know, there are diners where people like, go exclusively to ha be treated like trash. I feel like he'd do well there. <laughs> I feel like he'd excel. I never understood that. The only thing I can kind of understand about that is when people like take their unsuspecting grandma or their mom or whatever, and they get treated horribly, and they're all just like shocked. <laughs> because they don't understand what's going on. That's the only thing I can see. But, uh, uh, like, just, you know. I was going to say, uh, not everybody, but it's just everybody has different times and different this and different lives. But, okay, not everybody has time to, like, go out to eat, and you know, in a week. It's been a long week at work or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes people don't have that kind of free time. So to go somewhere just for them to treat you like trash. It, it's not appealing to me whatsoever for some reason. Like I've seen videos of it and stuff and I get everybody's laughing and obviously the people that go know what's going on and stuff, but I don't know. There's also one where they like give you, as soon as you walk in, they give you paper hats with something insulting written on it, like wanker. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, I'm thinking of insults in Spanish because they're so much easier. <laughs> But anything, just like Porky, they'll write anything on it. It's just so weird. I don't get it. But Jack D would do well there. I see the happy eater, the grumpy fucker. <laughs> uh, David, let's have a look at you in the 80s. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. You actually look you. like me. You look like me. <laughs> you are related. He does. <laughs> Did people throw those stones at you because you look so weird? <laughs> Well, let's That's have a look and see how similar to Alan you look in the 80s. That actually looks oh, like Alan. Now I was Oriental, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. I didn't mention that on who do you think you are. Uh, Jason, uh, the Ooh. 80s. Let's, let's have a look at you in the 80s. Oh, oh yeah. She's <laughs> lovely. She is hot, isn't she? <laughs> well, well, that's look. definitely me. Acid washed jeans. Acid washed expression. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But a lot more hair. And that was back in the neighbours' days, wasn't it? That was. What happened to the butch girl that worked in the garage? <laughs> okay. Jeez. Who knows? <laughs> and now, uh, Sarah used to present Blue Peter. No, I'm dreading this in the now. 80. Look now, at that. If you want to see a mullet? <gasps> there it is. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty good right. though. So you presented Blue Peter. Very in the good. 80s. Blue Peter was only like. She still looks three very good. Oh. I don't know when the hell. Lie. I don't know where the hell this air aired, but. And I don't know who the hell this woman is, <laughs> but she looks great for the age I'm guessing she has, so. 
Yeah, let's have a look at you in action. Really? On going live. Oh, oh yeah. No. Okay, Elliot, what's your question? I'd like to ask five star where they're like, fucking crap, they're fucking mad. Thanks very much, Elliot. Nice Bye. to hear from you. I'm sure Tammy would have made a lot more sense. <laughs> let's move on to line three. <laughs> Sorry about that, I've been drinking. <laughs> I think that looks like Michael McIntyre in the in the in the back. It does. Oh, it is. Oh my it god. Is. That is Michael. I... No, that is Michael McIntyre. Is it? His his yes, because his oh my mum god. worked. Oh, she knew someone who worked on this. So that is Michael McIntyre. Is that the most <laughs> random thing we could have found? That's weird. Is that David Mitchell sitting next to him? <laughs> <laughs> I had a good 80s. This is, this is how I started the 80s. This is me, I think, in 1980. Oh, wow. I thought you were still being built in the laboratory. <laughs> well, that's how the 80s started. This is how they finished. Wow. <laughs> you look wow. like everyone's first girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That sound. That's he does look. It, it, Everyone's yeah. first girlfriend. <laughs> does look very feminine. That's funny. All right. Well, anyway, I just kind of want to. It's just there's nothing more. It's just, anyway, that was um, that was interesting. But I don't know who that lady is. But oh my god. <laughs> She looked great all ages, apparently, but there you go. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to see it because you never get to see that stuff, you know, and it's funny because especially like when people get into, you know, the showbiz and all that, they start doing stuff to the face and the Botox and the this and the that. I know Jimmy had a lot of work done and stuff, but he talks freely about it, so that's cool. But it's kind of cool to see it. Also, I don't know why, but... The other day I was watching Mr. Bean's and um, he was it was like Mr. Bean out on the town or whatever. And there was this scene where he was on out on the street and there was just a bunch of people walking around. And oh my God, just how the way you can tell it's from the 90s just because how they're dressed. It, it, that kind of stuff fascinates me. How you can just have a quick scan of a room or people on the street, whatever, and tell exactly what era it is just because of how ridiculous their clothes and their hair is. And I love that. And it's so funny to me. So it's it's just 80s, 80s was wild fashion-wise. So that's fun stuff. <clears throat> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was what it was. And it is over. So I am gone. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you soon.